Okay, thank you, lady. I always wonder what her name is. I want to find out her name. Recording in progress. So thank you for coming. September 27th, Tuesday, 4 p.m., our in-phone workshop. And I changed it from webinar to workshop because I really want to work with you guys and girls to make in-phone even much better. Just so you know, I just did a quick update. I've had 22,660 people over the last year click on my info. Wow. So I'm going to give you some things I do that's a little different than James, but we'll all come together and work well together. The first thing and the simplest thing is everybody that you run into, share your info. Um, to help some people, I talked to a guy today that's coming aboard. He couldn't figure it out. And I said, what did you do in the old days? He goes, I have my business cards with me. And I have my business cards out. Now that we're coming in person, I went to five events the last month. So now we're in person more around this world. People are going to be thinking business cards. But when you pull up your info and say, just click on my QR code or click share the link and you can text it to them. I mean, how many times have you before having, you know, have your phone and go, hey, let me have your contact. Okay, what's your number? I'll text you. Okay, here's the, and you send them your phone number and, that, and that's cool, that's okay. But now you send them that info link with all your information there, not just your phone number, your email or your website, um, the credibility and all the things that you know why you came aboard. I think we're all clients here with info. Yeah, we are. Um, the other thing too is I just talked to a lady uh, two days ago I told her two weeks ago, reach out to your family and friends with the in phone and just be really subtle. Just say, hey, this is Heidi. Here's my contact info. I've started this business. I'd love for you to check it out. And by the way, you can throw on your home screen of your phone. You have access to me 24 seven. Reach out to me and I'll show you how to do that. We're going to make that easier down the road. That's one of the new features. I don't want to announce that yet, but we're going to make it adding to the home screen easier. So she did that to 100 family and friends, three sales within five weeks. Two of them were friends that like, I did not know you did that, Heidi. Oh, my God. When did you start that? Well, they got on a call. They go, I need you. I think she's an insurance agent. I don't remember exactly what she does. But that's kind of ongoing. That is your low-hanging fruit if you haven't done it. Now, if you've done it, all your family and friends go, about this. that's okay. The info. But what's really cool is... If you have it, to be able to do that, it really does work. And I've told this story before. I met a guy last year. Uh, he's 27. He makes a million dollars a month. He started his business in, at 25 years old and it's only used his contact list. That's all he marketed to build his program up to make it um, his million dollars in income. He loves info, but he's like, dude, I'm so busy. I, you know, I, I can't bring more people in right now. So I'm going to bring them on board later, but, and I'll have them talk at one of our workshops, but your family and friends are really kind of the, just a way to go because they may not want have what, or want what you have, but they want to refer you. They're your friends for a reason. Of course, most of your family, I don't know about all your family, but your family's going to want to refer you, especially if they love what you're doing. So family and friends and everybody you run into, whether it's in person or it's, you know, on a zoom or a big zoom, meeting that you're doing. If you're in networking groups, fantastic to work with that. I even did church about six weeks ago. Somebody goes, hey, what do you do, Steve? I said, oh, that's a great question. He's expecting me to give him his business card. Uh, business card. I pulled my phone out. He goes, what are you doing? I said, watch. He goes, well, that's way cool. I said, that's what I do. He's a plumber. Well, we talked the next week, he became a client. He goes, oh my God, he's going to put the QR code in all his equipment. His staff are going to wear uniforms with the QR code. So now his staff become the salespeople because I always say, scan my QR code and the info can sell his plumbing business. So always try to keep it in front of your mind when you're meeting people. Always remember, let's get them your info. Somehow, if they don't want to put it on their home screen, which rarely happens, this is have them save it in their contacts or uh, just have them leave it on the browser and they can bookmark it. So the one thing that I've found that talking to clients over the last six months is not being done is sharing, saving on the home screen. How many people know how to do that? Raise your hand. Lulu, Tamara, Amy knows how to do it. Good. Alicia knows, good. Let me go over it. I just want to make sure everybody knows because it really is a game changer. 
And I'm going to tell you why. That's why I had over 22,000 people click on my info because I do not leave a Zoom or I do not walk away from somebody in person. Again, if they say no, but it's rarely happened, that I'll have them scan the QR code. They pull it up on their phone and on an Android, looks like this. So I pull up James. It must be James Day. James got pulled up. How about that? He must have a good flight right now. Um, so I pull it up. And on the Android, if they have an Android, I tell them click the three dots, add the home screen, add, add. So there's three times with an Android. And then when you go to your home screen, there he is right there. You know what happens when you do that? And every time I do it, go, that's way cool. You mean James is on your home screen? Yeah, until I delete it, he's there. And you, of course, see all the other clients that we, that we have here at Info, some others. But not only is it good to have it there, but it's the, again, I like to say the cool factor. Wow, that's pretty cool. That's interesting. Wow. Okay, so I have access to you. So not only are you going to get your business there all the time, but you're really going to build your business up a little bit. It's going to show it a little bit better. Uh, with an Android, or excuse me, with an iPhone, I'm going to show you that if I can, because Zoom disappeared, everybody. Bear with me for a second. I love when Zoom does this. <clears throat> Okay, that. It won't let me get out of this. I love technology. <clears throat> do, 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 zoom. Okay, I don't know what happened here. How many of you have iPhones? I do. Do you guys know how to do that? Yes, I do. Does anybody not know how to do it on the iPhone? And I won't have to go through it? Okay, cool. That makes it easy. So keep in mind, that's really all you're responsible to do is get that in phone and get on their home screen. Give them the in phone, get on their home screen. Again, use it as a brochure, base, uh, business card. Get those things in people's hands and things will happen. Now, Ernie brought up a great point. I know he's gonna bring up his question. You know, he had 70 people over the last, in September, click on his in phone. 48 new people. That's pretty awesome. That's almost, there'll be more than one a day if you take 30 days. But keep in mind, when you give somebody your info, if you don't get their information, you're not going to know they have the info. We'll mm -hmm. know the multiple people that have clicked on it, how many times been clicked. But you're not going to know who's clicked on it. So very important when you give it out. And, and I guess this is business 101. You're all business people. Just make sure you grab that information, You however you do. One way I do it, and I'll show you on my end phone, is I use Cognito Forms, which is right. I call it lead gen. Again, you can call a button whenever you want. So I have people, especially in person, because they'll go, hey, this is Kathy. Here's my business card. No, I don't want your business card. Why not? No, click on my end phone. I put it on their home screen, have them click on it, and then I have them fill out this form. Just name, last name, phone. Uh, if they want to fill it, takes them all maybe 30 seconds. This gets emailed to you. And then you have a database in Cognito Forms. It's a free program, but it's a great way for earning now all these people he shares info with, have them click on it. Just tell them, hey, take 45 seconds, fill that form out. Now you've got a database and you can follow up with them. And ask how many times you clicked on the info if that's information that you want. So Cognito Forms is something yes. that's very powerful that I think to use, especially now that we're going in person. Well, can I ask a question, Steve? Yes, you can, Ernie. Uh, well, first of all, 
when when I I, I, say I was at an event on Saturday and out of 23 people showed a real interest. So I got them to scan my QR code. But as you say, I didn't, that's, that's all I did. I didn't get them. But then you told me that this many people have, uh, have click, clicked on. And I, I, I haven't, I haven't really, you know, all I've done is shown my phone on Facebook. Does their information come to you or at, or does it show it doesn't no names or anything? Yeah, right now, because one of the powers of InPhone that I've heard from a, a, a few oh. people is I want, and we talked about it earning in the UK. There's a big problem with privacy in the UK. They're yeah. very particular with their phones. And when I talk to another person in the UK, they're like, I want nothing that has access to my phone or yeah. anybody because of fraud and all that. We have no access when you put it on their phone. InPhone yeah. has no access to them. There's zero data being used. It's all web-based. Yeah. So right now we can't, but there's some tech coming that maybe right. down the road we can see that. Our goal is to get in as many hands so when they go through their phone, Ernie, yeah. they click on your picture and go, yeah, you know what? That's Ernie I met at that meeting. Yeah. You know, I need to call him. I, I, I'm going to call him, you know, click on the button. I don't need to do that. You guys know that. I could say, so... If we can get that lens button that you've got, where we can get them, if we can get them to get that button, yeah, where they fill in the information, that'll be a help. It'll help a lot. I'll work with you on that. Yeah, it, it's pretty simple uh, step uh, to do that. You know, my share screen is yeah is something yeah. wrong with it, but at least I can talk to you guys. Thanks, That's Ernie. Great. Ray. Yeah, um, <clears throat> on that um, link. You just demoed there of the new contacts. Can can they be downloaded onto a spreadsheet? Yes, it can. Come you know, near we'll do an export. And, and and from there you can put it in your own database. Correct. Absolutely. Okay. Yeah, it's a pretty cool product. I'm a big tech guy. James will tell you, and I'm gonna say this in the recording. James, if you're listening on the flight, he's terrible with tech, but he's better now. I'm a big tech guy, so I've got a lot of ways that we can help. And, and you're going to learn ways because info really works well with different tech because all we need is that link, whether it's a CRM, a form, whatever it may be, we can really build it into the info, which is the power of the info. Um, any other questions? Yes, yeah, Steve, a question. I, I got lost <laughs> in trying to find the form that you're referring to. Do we have to request that that be added or can well, I add it? You can add it. I'd rather have you. I mean, if you want to ask, I'll help you. No, I, but yeah, you add it. You just send it to me. So it'll be a link that looks like this. Uh, oh, yeah, you can't see it. But it'll be a Cognito link. Once okay. you build it on Cognito Forms okay, and put your... It's similar to Google Forms, but what that I like about this, it works much better. And again, it's uh -huh. free. Um, it says try now. I've never paid for it, but so you shouldn't have to pay for it. But yeah, okay. you go ahead and build it, Alicia, and then go, hey, Steve, here's my contact form, lead gen, whatever you girls or guys. I get caught up saying guys all the time. My dad's in That's heaven. All right. He's patting me in the head like, Steve, there's girls there. I got you, Dad. <laughs> That's right. <laughs> Equality. <laughs> right. And I want to give you guys value with info because outside of info, as you can see, to me, I think that's a very valuable tool. Yeah. Sometimes I'll forget, but the last few meetings I've been to, I use it all the time. So if you just go to oh. Cognito Forms, search it, uh, sign up for free, and it's pretty self-explanatory. But if you need help, you, cool. can you can definitely reach out. Since you guys are on this workshop, you can reach out to me. Uh, and I'll put my info information in the chat. Um, so again, I want to go over it again. Give everybody your info and put it on their home screen. Put it on their home screen, info with everybody. Because what will happen is that I've seen is your, your appointments are going to book up. You're going to get texts from people you don't know. If somebody goes, well, I don't know if I want that. I said, yeah, if they're going to give me three referrals, I'll take every phone non-phone I don't know because that's what's happening. Hey, Lulu, this is Joe. I want to reach out. I shared my info with somebody or 
somebody asked me about info and I want, you know, I want to talk to you, whoever it may be, whatever it may be. Uh, for Kirk, it might be, hey, I got HR or core stuff that I want to, you know, uh, benefits, HR benefits. So it it's good. It's good to have your calendar filled up without you talking to somebody. If you guys woke up next week and had five appointments you weren't aware of, would that make your day? <laughs> yeah. Yeah. yeah Absolutely. That's, that's Less work, more money. That's our goal at info. Less work, more money. Still work, a little less. Um, Steve, I have a question. Yes, um, on LinkedIn, you know, sometimes I try to connect. Um, my company uses that. And um, it you can't seem to use the QR code in your signature with them. They won't allow it. Or maybe it's because they're, I, I don't know. Have you ha heard anything about, you know, LinkedIn? Because what's happening, I'm, I'm going to more trade shows. And it's almost like I'm competing with my peers for the leads. And um, so I'm trying to find ways of maybe contacting, like we get like a, a pre-registration list of who's going to be attending. And I was wondering how to use the info to get in contact with them first to drive them to the booth to see me. Yeah, that's a great question. Um, great question, Catherine. First, think about, let's think about my opinion. Think about it. If we put a QR code on LinkedIn and they're looking with their phone, they can't scan the QR code. Right. Oh, okay. If they're on their phone, I mean, their computer, they could. On those type of places, LinkedIn, Instagram, Twitter, if you're TikTok, Facebook, I just use my info link. Okay. And when they click on it, they get everything. So what I would do is reach out. Hey, I hope to see you in my booth. And I'm paraphrasing because you'll probably write better than I will. You know, looking forward to it. I've got something special for you. Click my link below to learn more about what we do, to contact me, to find me. If we want to put a button for your location, whatever it may be, give them a call to action to go to the info because what's going to happen? They're going to click on it and learn more about your business as they start clicking different buttons. So you would just use the link and not use the QR code when you're reaching out. Right. Okay. Yeah. I see QR codes like on shirts, flyers, yeah. you know, windows, uh, equipment, yeah. trucks, your car, so people can scan it. Uh, right. That's why we did both the copy, paste, and share and the QR code because so there's you two ways you Right. So you can't really put it in your signature at all, you know, in, do, at an email. Huh? Uh, signature in, um, in, e in, an e in an email. What kind oh, no, of email? I, I put it there. I know Kirk's put it there. Yeah. What, I, uh, what, mine's there as well, Steve. Catherine, yeah. it's a oh. Gmail Outlook. What kind of email specifically? It's, 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 it's Gmail. So I'm having trouble yeah, doing that. Maybe you can I do can it. have you, you can someone do it. help me. <laughs> so Catherine, sure. if you go to the chat, you'll see my info and link. You can contact me there and set up an appointment. And I'd be happy there to you show go. you how to do that. Um, I, I'm kind of nerdy okay. on that stuff. So I can help you with that, getting a, a little graphic into your. Oh, okay, great. That Thank you, Kirk. Idea. Happy to do it. Hey, Catherine. Make it only 30 minutes because he's expensive. I got to pay for <laughs> <laughs> I'm joking. No, no, no. <laughs> Giver's gain here, Steve. <laughs> Giver's gain. Yes. Hallelujah. All right. Catherine, okay, great question, so, though. Great question. Yeah. Yeah. I'm just trying to because it's, um, you know, it's a very, um, it's, I've never been in a trade show where you're actually, as opposed to working as a team, you're almost competing against one another, which I find a little odd. Yeah. Um, yeah. And distributing the leads accordingly. So um, I don't know if that's going to happen because certain team members don't follow the rules. So it makes it a nightmare for everybody else. So anyway, I can do that. So um, let's see, where did, where did you send your link to me? I'm sorry, which? It's Kirk in the chat. Can it's you guys Kirk see the, the chat? chat. Okay, yeah, so maybe go to the chat. It's, okay, I, I did. I just, I just put it there a minute ago. It says, sorry, I'm late. Oh, okay. All right, I see it. There okay. I am. And so, see ya. Okay, yeah, all right. There power of info is here. It's great. Yeah. yeah, exactly. <laughs> hey, I just had my name badge made by my 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 friend who does printing and all that, and I've got. I don't know if you guys can see it with the camera. Oh yeah. But I now have the QR code right on my name badge. So when I'm at these, I was at a meeting this morning. We're doing the disc profile to find out your personality. People is give me a business card. No, pull your camera. And then it's right here in my chest. I just make them do it. Yeah, yeah I was yeah, forces I was them saying, into the sandbox. Yeah, I notice a lot of the um, like a lot of the big um, conferences. They're starting to do that. There that so I'm just copying their QR code. Yep. But it seems like our company, even though we're digital fintech company, we're still not up to date 
marketing that way. So I think my, I might have an Boy, edge. fintech too. You'd think it would be pretty, you know, I know of, uh, no. out there with all no. the QR code. Wow. Yeah. yeah. No, no. I'm, I'm the only one that has a QR code. I'm the only one that, you know, I had it, you know, I had it blown up with my, I had my business cards, but, you know, I had my QR code, but it seemed like some of the participants of the show didn't identify with it yet. Right. You know, so, you know, I, I think, hey, here's my QR code. And I was trying to encourage them to do that. They're still still identifying with the business card. So maybe it's just going to take a little time. But I was kind of shocked that, you know, people that are, they're seeing QR codes on TV and everywhere that they, did, they wouldn't identify with it, you know? Yeah. But here's the cool thing about Infone. This is, ladies and gentlemen, a great example for her. She's in a company. She's the only one that has Infone. But we've given her a QR code that she can use and she's going to be in competition in a booth, guess what? I think people are going to gravitate towards her because partly because of info. I don't want to say all of it because right. she's going to have a cool thing to share. So that's great news, Catherine. I love hearing that. Um, right. Some companies are behind the times. It's just, that's the way yeah. it is. Yeah, exactly. Or they just think that they'll continue to work the way they want to work and you can't. You have to constantly reinvent yourself and reinvent the process. Right. So, you know, you have to be open to new ideas. You really do. Right. Absolutely. Any other questions? Well, Robert? just a, a follow up uh, to uh, what you guys were just talking about, Catherine. Um, Steve has given me ideas as well. Um, I, I drive for Uber, but I also, when I get a chance, try to go to a trade, well, go to a conference where they have a trade show. And one of the things he talked about is printing, um, you know, an eight and a half by 11 uh, right. with your QR code on that mm -hmm. and potentially having that at your booth so that yep. when uh, you, you talk to someone and they say, well, can I get a business card or can I and you say, well, just scan this QR code and uh, schedule an appointment or do whatever. But that might give you a competitive advantage since your other um, colleagues are not kind of invested in any type of type of technology. Yeah, I, I did do that. It was just trying to get the prospects to identify with it. Yeah. And then and then getting their information, mm -hmm. you know, and I, and I don't have the um, cognito form, so I'll try that. Because some um, of them- Is your audience at the trade show typically uh, financial people, uh, investment world, or what kind of thing, what's your target market? Uh, well, target market is um, digital payment platforms, okay. um, such like, you know, earn wage access, tip solutions, payroll cards, anything to digitize the employer's um, process. Yeah. And the people that come to that trade show, are typically those business owners are people looking to in integrate that tech into their, their company yes. or platform. Right? So you get yeah. a lot of old school thinking. I'm not picking on them, but. No, no, they are. They are. They're FinTech very old is, is, is way out there, but the people that are buying it and adopting it, it's new to them. Yeah. And they're. And that's and why they're... QR codes are. Look at this QR code thing, Marge. Yeah, it's pretty nice. <laughs> it's, right? Oh, I've never done that. But yeah, yeah, you need to get it, get, like you said, big eight and a half by 11. Yeah. Yeah. Put it on your yeah. back as you're walking around the show. Yeah. yeah maybe I'll just get a t-shirt. Yeah. Right. There you that's... go. <laughs> what is me. That? You know, yeah. that's not a bad idea to put in the back the QR code and say, scan me, but. Yeah. Instead yeah, well, of kick me. When you were kids, it was me. kick me. Now it's scan me. Yeah. 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 <laughs> Yeah, oh. As long as you're not saying scam at me. Yeah. 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 No. Any other questions? No other questions? Kathy, I get all your questions answered. I know we talked earlier. Oh, yeah, yeah. I, that's what Perfect. my main question was, because I'm going to be full steam ahead with these trade shows. And I just kind of want to make sure I'm prepared. I mean, I'm doing some in the fourth quarter, but really when the when the trade trade show season starts, I really want to be you know prepared. No, I love it. Yeah, I'm doing the same thing because there's a lot of events and trade shows and tables. And, you know, one yeah. thing you can use uh, with a trade show, if you have a table, all of you, is get an apron with the QR codes with your logo. Uh, one of our distributors is doing that, did that. He just sold a car dealership. They have about 12 in phones. So that's another cool way, the QR code. Because everybody sees it now. 90% of people are going to scan it. So Ray yeah. from New Zealand. Yeah, I've got a question, um, Steve. How do I get into my back office 
so that because as you know I've got to change all my photos with a with a new company change. How do I get into the back office to do all that? Yeah, there's not a back office. You'll just email that to me. You're going to send me an email. We'll go through that. We can actually jump on a Zoom. Okay, right here. Yeah, we're not dealing with back offices now. As we grow, that's something in the future. But uh, right now, we just want to make it simple. You know, our goal here at Infone is you guys keep making your money working, meeting. We'll do all that work in the back end for your Infone. That's why I want to make it simple. Send that e -phone, uh, email, updates, and we'll get the team on it. I know Lulu's used it. Kirk's used it. Demar's used it. Ernie. So that's the goal. Alicia's used it. I think most everybody's used it one time or another. So keep you doing your work. We'll keep building more infos. Um, okay. Man, 4.30. I guess I did a great job. Go ahead, Ray. You have something? Awesome. Great. What a way to end the call. Awesome. I thought wow. it was just getting started. If there's anything else, you can scan my QR code. For some reason, I can't get back to the chat. This is crazy. Got to love tech. Uh, Zoom's actually 15 minutes away. I'm going to drive over there right now and beat up the owner because <laughs> it's crazy. Because this has never happened. I can't find my share screen. But if you want to scan, I'll stay on for a little bit. But I appreciate you coming on. Um, two weeks, we'll do the next in-phone workshop. Bring many people can come back. If you got more questions, Catherine, I want to see, hear your update from your trade show when you do it. You know, reach okay. out to people, talk and Thank you, everybody. You guys enjoy the rest of the evening, Thanks. and we'll see you in two weeks. Okay. Thank you. Okay. Kurt, Thank you want to stay on? Yeah. Yes, I will. Thank I'll you. Stay yeah. yeah, Kurt, that's fine. See y'all. She's going to reach one, out to you. Yeah. One uh, thing, Steve. Welcome. I'll welcome. reach out to you on your info, right? You bet. Hey, got to okay. use info, or I won't accept the call. <laughs> oh, no. Oh, pressure, pressure, pressure. No pressure. Okay. All right, Kurt. Thank you. You bet. You're welcome. Hey, Steve. Yeah, Demar or Ernie, go yeah. ahead, Ernie. Yeah, can you can you send me a cop a, a, a recording? Can we get a recording yes. of this? Yeah, yeah. Ernie, what time zone are you in? Where's your time zone, Ernie? Uh, well, um, it's just, it's about quarter to one now in in the morning. Twelve forty five a.m. And you're you are where, sir? Uh, in England. Love it. <laughs> and Ray was in New Zealand. Steve, you've gone global on us. Yeah, yeah. Right? Well, that's beautiful so, man like That's so exciting. Yeah. That's so exciting. Uh, can you can you guys – shoot, I got to – well, let me jump off here, and then, Kirk, come back. Or, or just, just, just call me when you're ready because I'm working on a proposal for a, a new client. So I'm okay. just, just, just call, just call, call you. Call you. All right. Take Gentlemen, care. nice Thank meeting you. Everybody. Have a nice evening. Tomorrow, nice do you have you. any questions? Yeah, I do, um, Steve. Um, no, the first thing was um, – I um, I was gonna get or someone was I think you were gonna send me um, kind of that template for uh, for doing the uh, table the table thing. Uh, I did send article. yeah the, yeah I sent you the picture. Did you get it? Uh, no, no, I did not get that. Okay, I'll um, resend the picture to you. Okay, and then uh, uh, the other thing James was gonna send me he was gonna send me any uh, like four new examples, but also the um, the in in-phone sign up page, the, the QR code for the in in-phone sign up page. There's so not a QR we... code for that, but there is a link. Okay. So you're talking about the form to fill out the in-phone? Yeah, the, 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 the link to fill uh, to fill it out. He was gonna give me a QR code so that if I had someone in the car, um, I could just have them scan the QR code. And it would bring them up to the info and sign up page. Oh, I see what he's doing. I'll I'll do that for you. I'll build okay. a QR code for you. Yeah, he's okay. been out of town. Yeah, uh, no, 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 no worries. Yeah. Um, um so but the, uh those were the the two biggest things. And so uh one of the things that I noticed on my info is, is that I don't have the cloud call. So if I want to add that, I just need to send you an email to that. I'll to add it tonight. That. I'll add it okay. tonight. Okay. So okay. So we're good. Okay. Take care of that. So I'll okay. send you the tablecloth, cloud call, and you need a QR code for the sign up form. Yeah. And um from my standpoint, um the the link, the the Google Doc that you 
did as a form, that works the same way as that incognito form. So I don't really need anything different. No, no. If you're happy with it, it works. Yeah. The problem with the, the Google form, they have to do it on their own. And if they mess it up, like one lady had it changed to restricted, and people were clicking on it, they couldn't get access. I don't know how it happened. Google can be a little wonky. So cognitive form seems to be more solid for people. So that doesn't happen. Yeah. So all I've been doing right now is if I can get them to bring up my info is to go ahead and press the send text button and then just put their, their name and their email address and maybe the company name. And that's, uh, and that's it. Cause that, um, that way I have a way to get back to them. And that, that seems to work um, pretty well. Yeah. You know, let me ask you, so why do you want the customer form? Uh, well, no, you were just talking about it. And so. Um, no, no, no. You, you're talking to James because we don't want people to fill that out until they've paid. No, no, no. Well, the, the goal would be is, is that they would, it would take them to the page to sign up. Oh, you're talking about the payment page. The payment page. Yes. Oh, okay. That's different. Okay. I thought you meant to sign up. Yeah. I'm sorry, Steve. Yeah. Yeah. yeah no. okay. Yeah. Cause we were talking um, at the last meeting, you know, what, um, you know, what's, you know, kind of uh, an obstacle that I was having. And one of the obstacles is I talk to them, they seem like they're ready, um, but then they have to get out of the car and um, you don't get their information. Yeah, I don't get their information or I don't get them to complete the the thing versus if I can have them scan a QR code that takes them to the purchase page um, and just have them fill, fill that out, um, then then um, that may help as opposed to trying to, to follow up with them. Uh, you think people will do that right there in the car? They pay right there? Because the problem having too many QR codes now it gets confusing, right? Yeah. Well, the only the 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 only way that I would do that is I wouldn't have that on the back of my seat. I would have that in, in the front seat with me. And if they say, you know, um, you know, I'm, you know, what's the next step? Then I I would say, go ahead, scan this, um, and uh, and move there. And you know, obviously. If they're running to catch a flight, they're not going to do it. Uh, but if they have time, um, then they will. Um, okay. So QR that, that's code. The, we'll try yeah. it and see. You know, it'll take me a minute to find it and make a QR code. That's not. I mean, that's that's not. I mean, that's not a huge deal. Let's try it and see. Maybe that's an option. Yeah. A better option. Let's try it. And you want the blanket photo. And the other thing was, I know I need to write it down because. So you blanket photo, the QR code for uh, your cloud camera. call. Cloud call, thank you. Um, and um, I guess the other one that I'm looking, when I'm looking at your phone is track and meet. That's a new feature. Yeah, let's not put it, it's not available yet. Okay. Yeah, okay. he's still having a problem with it. So let's not even, yeah, I, I should okay. take mine out too, but Ron wants us to keep it there. Yeah, track and meet will hold off on until yeah, it's ready to go. Yeah, the the other one is um, well. Let, let's um, the the only other one that I can think of is the Venmo, uh, having that. But um, I don't really need it for. I don't collect money from people, so I don't really need it for for me right now. Yeah, I would you just, just show. Them, yeah, show them mine and go. Yeah, hey, you know, here's my business partner Steve. You know, here's Steve's info. Look, because I did that with a guy today. He's probably going to sign up probably in an hour. He's like, I mean, you can take Venmo because. Holy crap, I said, because he didn't have an idea about info. So when he saw that, he's like, they can click on it. I said, he doesn't have info in Venmo. I said, yeah, get a free account. We'll put it on there. They click on it. You can start taking payments and just put it right in your business account. Yeah. He's like, oh, my God, it's game changing. Yeah. Uh, but you just use mine for that. Yeah, I can do that. But you could say, hey, you know, I've got some people like Steve, my business partner. He's got Venmo on his phone. He can collect yeah. payments right from his phone, from his yeah. info. Yeah. So, Steve, when you're doing like a demo, do you have um, several people's phones up on the thing and you just click from uh, from one to the other? I usually only use one. Then I go to okay. mine. 
to show them the different ones for info. I like to show different looks like a logo, a headshot, headshot logo. So they got like, oh, I kind of, can you just show them one? They think that's what it looks like. You have four or five. You know, if they say, oh my God, I want four or five apps. I'm like, oh no, these are my clients. Yeah. My clients for info. So I'm just showing you the different ways people are using it. Look at this cool one. It's got a logo. Look at this one. It's got a headshot. Look, he's got a headshot. You know, I wouldn't put the logo on there. It's We started doing that. That doesn't look good. So they can see how different it looks for everybody because it's customized. You will okay. focus on that. Okay. So let's say I walk into uh, a dentist's office. Um, and um, so I've got uh, queued up on um, my in phone, your in phone, and maybe an example of a dentist or a practitioner. Um, and um, so I would go ahead and do the presentation on my in phone. Um, and then if I, there was an example of being able to collect a payment or other industries, um, I could go to yours. Um, but specifically, since I'm in the dentist's office, I would show them an example of a uh, dentist uh, in phone. Um, if, if, the, if it, I just depends if they need it or not. You know, if somebody's like, I could tell they're not getting it or they want to see it or they ask. Hey, you have Dennis. Uh, we only have one Dennis. He's not active anymore, but we you could still use his. Um, yeah, I don't. I don't do that a lot, unless I feel it's intuition. I feel the need to show him another insurance agent or another realtor. Um, I just like using Maya's because she's got the infos at the bottom, so people can see the different infos they could put there as their business partner page. But you know, whatever you're comfortable with, because they're really all the same about me, their, their social media, all the communication tools, you know, their website, the different parts of their website. So really info, they're all similar, except of course, different industries. Okay. So you just got to play with that. Okay. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Okay. No, that, that, that helps. Um, okay. So really just really two then, and unless they, uh, Unless you know there there's um, asking questions and want to see see something specifically for their industry. Yeah, every presentation is a little bit different, just depending on the person. They get it right away. They don't get it right away. I know right away uh, when I say what inspired you to jump on the call. I know right away. Well, I, Darcy showed me her info, and you know I see all of these. She says it's different, so now I know right away he needs an in depth look at info he needs yeah. or if you say you know i love info man she put it on my home screen that's very cool you know i i, I want to see if there's anything else in oh there now it just came back son of a gun sorry about that caught me off guard um let me stop the recording <laughs>